let's pivot this table. So I'm going to select the column that I want to pivot, go to transform, pivot column, and then here we can choose the value column, go to advanced options, and I do not want to aggregate. And error. Do you know how to fix this? Welcome to How to Power BI. My name is Bas, and if this is the first time for you visiting this channel, then make sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to stay up to date on everything Power BI related. Now let's have a look at why that pivot didn't work. Now let's first have a look at an ideal case scenario for pivoting. So in this data set, I have three columns. The first column contains the employee names. Then for these employees, we are storing the information for different attributes. For example, the office, department, starting date. And then we have the corresponding values in the third column. So now I want to transform this table and turn rows into columns on the basis of this attribute column. Okay, so for each attribute, I want to have a separate column. Now we can do this with the pivot transformation. So I go to transform, pivot column, and here the column that we want to have for the values, that's the value column here. And then we can go to advanced options, and then we do not want to aggregate the values, but we want to show the actual values that we have inside of the value column. And that gives me the pivoted result. However, let's now make a small change to that underlying data set. So I'm going to take out one column, and now we only have the attribute column and the value column. And the names of the employees, well, they turned into an attribute, right? So we do not have a separate column anymore for the employee names. And I'm going to do exactly the same. So I want to take the attribute column and then go here to transform, pivot column, then the values column. Well, that's the second column over there, the values, and we do not want to aggregate. And now it doesn't work anymore. And the error that we get is that there were too many elements in the enumeration to complete the operation. Okay. Now the reason is in that first data set, we have that extra column for the employee names, the entity column that allows us to map the different attributes to an entity. And that is what Power Query needs. So to make that second example work, we have to add a third column. So let's do this. So I'm going to go back and undo that last step. And I'm going to add a conditional column. And this new column is then for the employee name or the employee. And we can say if the attribute equals name, then we want to show the corresponding value. All right. So let's see. That gives us the employee names inside of the employee column. However, we still have some nulls, so let's fill it down. Let's select the column and then go to transform. And here we can say fill down. All right. So now we have three columns. Let's give it another shot. So I'm going to select the attribute column, then click on pivot column. And over here we set it to do not aggregate. And we fixed it. You see? So keep that in mind. You need to have three columns, otherwise it will not work. It needs to be able to map the attributes to the entity. Now that was just one approach. Let me now also show you a second way of how you could solve it with an index number for the entity. Okay, so we can go here to the home tab or transform and choose group by. And here we can switch to advanced and we want to group by the attribute. And here we want to keep all of the rows. Then for the new column name, we can type in value and okay. So now here we basically just have nested tables. And so you see per attribute, we have the corresponding values for Peter and Sam. Okay. So now I'm going to add an index number for the first entity and the second entity. Okay. So within each table. And the way to do that is to go here to add column custom column and this is going to be our index column and the function that we can use is table dot add index column okay so here we can take the value 
and the new column name is going to be index and we want to have increments of one so you see that gives me a column with again nested tables and now we have the attribute and values now every time in this case we have two so one for peter two for sam and for the next one for the next attribute we also have the index one two so we have a mapping of the attributes to the corresponding entity and that's all we need so now we can expand the index column now we want to bring over the value in the index now the value column here we don't need all right and now we are ready to do the pivot again so i can click on the attribute column transform pivot column and then here we have don't aggregate and click on okay and that also solves it now let me show you a second roadblock that you can run into and that is having duplicates in the attribute column for the same entity for example here i added now two rows and I, these two rows are for sam and you see i added two times specialization because sam an employee can have multiple specializations for example database administration and platform integration okay now i would like to pivot this table just like before so i'm going to select the attribute column transform pivot column now here i can take the value field again and i don't want to add aggregate you see we have an error it almost worked however we have now this new column for the specialization attribute and there we have the error there were too many elements in the enumeration to complete the operation same error as before and that is because we have now two times attribute there with two different values okay and it cannot show both of them over here in one cell so how could we solve this now let's go one step back. So I'll go here to the navigation step. Now to fix this, we just have to make sure that we just have one time each attribute for each entity and so each employee. So if we could just combine platform integration with database administration there, so that we have one line, then the pivot would work. And the transformation that allows us to do that is the group by. All right, so I go again to the home tab, click here on group by, and here we want to switch to advanced and then we are going to group by the employee and also the attribute and then we can create our value column with the operation sum and we want to take the sum of the value i click ok and you see it gives us a whole list of errors and that's just because we cannot take the sum of text values of course now but we can take the formula and tweak it a little bit so that it works so we need to make sure that you can see the formula bar if you don't see it just go to view formula bar and then it should show up all right and now we can go here to the formula and transform list.sum into the following function text.combine and now it almost works now let me make this come a little bit wider you see there we have database admin platform integration now i would like to have a comma in between so just go to the formula and add another argument with the comma in between quotation marks okay so that's fixed and what about these other errors well here we cannot convert the date value to type text all right so we need to go one step before and just change the data type here to text all right, so now that it's text, then we can group it. You see, no more errors. And then we can do our pivot again. So I'm gonna click here on the pivot column step. And you see, we do not have any errors anymore. And we nicely have there our two values, database admin and platform integration into one cell. And what about the first employee, Peter? Well, he didn't have this attribute. He did not have any specialization and therefore it just shows no, but no errors. So now let's have a look at the last one, number three. So another hurdle that you could run into when you are trying to pivot your data set. And that is when you have no values in the attribute column. So here I made a small change to the data set. You see inside of the attribute column, I now have a null here. And you might think, okay, that's obvious. Okay, there is a null and might break the whole thing. However, 
it's not always that obvious. If you have a large data set, or maybe it's not even there in the preview, then you might not even notice and it doesn't work. And let me show you which error you would get. So I'm gonna continue here and click on pivot. And you see, we cannot convert the value null to type text. So make sure that before you pivot, you go one step before and choose the attribute column and remove all of the empty cells in there. And you see, that would fix it. I hope that pivoting data sets is not gonna give you any troubles anymore. Now, maybe you run into a scenario that wasn't covered, then let me know in the comment section below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, then make sure to hit that subscribe button. I hope to see you in the next video.